what is up everybody welcome back to another brand new youtube video today we have a horrifying game for you guys we are playing fears to phantom if you guys don't know what that is it is a episodic psychological horror game there's different episodes today we are going to be playing iron bark lookout it just came out again i don't know too much about the games i play i kind of just hear about them and i dive right in so let's dive right in sit back relax and let's have fun and not get too scared Fears the Phantom, episode four, Iron Bark. I'm nervous. I noticed you were requesting story submissions. Uh, what I'm about to recount, uh, recount happened when I was 24 or so at the time. It feels kind of weird telling anyone about this because of the bizarre and absurd nature of the whole thing. I feel like doing so might help me process my memories. Of I knew that sharing the story anywhere else would be a dumb idea because people would say I wasn't lying as I'm writing this. This was the scariest experience of my life. I'm Jack Nelson, had a small job as a park ranger in a state park. That was a fire lookout station in one of the largest forests in the Pacific Northwest. Miles and miles of dense forest managed by the Forestry Service. I had a salary that allowed me to make ends meet, but I couldn't afford to treat myself to restaurants, nice clothes, etc. My biggest accomplishment so far was being able to buy an RV for myself. The RV was the only sense of home I had at the time. One time I was transferred from the outpost to another because of some official circumstances. It was a minor inconvenience to me though. I lived out of my RV. I like traveling. Cool. So this guy loves RVs. He loves having a good time in his RV. Can I turn this on? Okay. Right, we're just gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna enjoy this. If I don't starve to death before I think I'll be fine. Did you pass Roseburg yet? No, why? What was that, mine? I lived a very solitary life, it seems like it. I mean, what is better than living in an RV in the middle of the woods, no stress in life, but living? It's amazing. I've always loved the great outdoors. Just being surrounded by nature gave me happiness. I felt like I was at home in the woods. I don't know if I want to check that while I'm driving. Is that safe? Is it? Is it safe? We're checking it. Uh, I remember there's dinner while passing Roseburg. They have the best burgers in town. You have to try them out. Okay, cool. Should be a town coming up. Based on the text messages. And there she is. Okay. Seems pretty, uh... Pretty normal. I saw the diner Kayla was talking about. Oh, shit. <laughs> I drove right into the wall. Right, I'm gonna park up like right here. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn that off for now. Give that a nice little uh shut. Let's head in to try the world's best burger. Hi. Welcome to Twin River Diner. How are you doing today? Good, how about you? Feel free to take a seat anywhere you like. I'll be right with you. Cool. Oh, man, this guy's got a shovel. How's the food? Okay. Can I talk to this guy? Long day of driving, huh? Where are you headed? I'm heading up north to make a delivery. What about you? I'm a staffer at Iron Bark State Park. So, is it true? Whatever they said happened to those kids the other day. Possibly. What happened? I can't even imagine what the parents must be going through. It's every okay, cool. Okay, she's ready for me. I'm gonna sit right here. Good evening, I'm Barbara. Are you ready to order? Yeah. What can I get for you today? Cheeseburger with fries and a large Coke. That's all. I've always had this habit of peeing before eating. Okay. I guess we'll go pee. Oh, uh, right on the floor we do it. Just don't even lift the lid up. Just pee right on the floor. Nice. Let's wash my hands. I think we're good. Nice. All right. Let's sit back down. Can I actually? No way. Oh. <laughs> 
No way. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let me just indulge in this delicious box of fries. I figured it'd be a while before I had a meal like this again. Probably. Might as well spoil yourself. The delicious burger. Let's see. So did you end up going? How was it? I'm here still eating. This is so good. Mitch Scott. Seems like the guy gave us the job. Cool. Oh, hi, hi. Did I enjoy the food? It was amazing. Just a check, please. Thank you. You should send me the castle recipe you're talking about. I might get a chance to immerse myself in the art of cuisine in the new lookout. Cool. I'll give a herdy tip. 50% tip. Just because, you know. You know. Why not? On my way home, send you in a bit. Cool. Alright, let's get out of this. Let's go for a nice drive. Bye, diner. See ya. Never. Eight oh two p.m. Is something strange is happening, and I don't know what it is. I just feel it in my bones. You know. I want to include the location of this park, but I don't want anyone seeking out the other horrors I've seen in these woods. Hmm. So he's accustomed to these horrors he's seen in the woods. This, this looks like a good. This looks like the spot. Oh, don't like that music. Do I just... Hi! My god! Holy moly, you scared me. You scared me, what? One of who? Hey, Lord have mercy. Can I see your permit, please? You're Billy, right? Um, the new transfer for the fire lookout. Uh, okay, you, you do that. Throw my bag at you. Nini, scare me like that. Is he actually looking at stuff? That's the thing. What are you look? Oh! Thanks, man. Why are you standing over me like that? Let me open the trail gate for you. Thank you. I appreciate that. I will get out of your hair now. Anything else you wanna, wanna give me? Might also need this flashlight for a long hike to your look. Oh, yeah. thanks, man. I appreciate it. Nice guy looking out for me. If need be, you can reach our tower 12 during your staffing. Nice enough guy. You have a good day. Cool. Something in his eyes that don't seem alive. He seems dead. Just a piece of advice. Don't travel any further than half a mile or north. Bobcats and bears, he says. Nasty business. Bobcats and bears. I thought he was trying to scare me, but he looked dead serious. Hmm. 11.30? It was a long hike, and it was starting to get cold now. Iron Bark. Tower 11, uh, Lacey Trail, and Gold Creek Trail. Cool. Living in a fire tower is not a glamorous job. It seems fun, though. There's, like, parts of it where I'm like... Seems nice. Imagine being out here alone for weeks at a time. It's not for everybody. Alright, we have a bathroom. Cool. Generator. I'm assuming I turn this on. Okay, cool. A little shack over there with supplies, it looks like. Once you're at the top of the tower, your job is to look for fires or anything out of the ordinary. Okay. Shall we? Cabin was filled with the aroma of wood, giving me a sense of comfort. Oh, nice. Cool. I'm going to toss my stuff on the bed. Alright, for now. Uh, see what we got. Ironbark Fire Department. 
Rules, lights out after 12. Supply drops are handed out every Sunday. Absolutely no guests in lookout. Password is Ironbark Tower Number. Okay. Refuel generated routinely. Update the reporting software routinely. No video games in the system. So quest com support? Call John. Send photos to Mitch. Call Billy. Call John tomorrow at 2 p.m. Okay, radio equipment. Rainbow 98. So, so we got iron bark 11. <clears throat> Hello there, it's Smiley, your trusty virtual assistant here to help you make the most of your computer day. Okay, um, so we have console. Uh, this is a video game. We're not allowed to play, but we might, we might play. Server support and then the map. Okay. Okay, so we have to do these, whatever it's called. Oh! New guy. I haven't gotten your name yet. What is it again? I saw I'm Jack. Down. I gotta say, it's refreshing to see Tower 11 alive again. Who is Connor, this? Fire Tower 12. Connor. I knew that. Isn't that the job? I've had to cover your area until you arrived. Ah, oh, thanks, man. Anyways, Appreciate it. What brings you to this towering paradise of ours? You got a fire tower. going? No. You're lit. So I'll, I'll I'll do that. I'll do it. I'm assuming you have to go down and get some firewood. What? No fire. Oh. Did you light it up yet? Wood stove should be around the entrance. There's no firewood. No firewood. There must be plenty in the shack. That's all Marley did. Marley. You. She was hmm. one gritty. Anyways, you better get that fire going. You don't want to sit through the storm. Gasoline must be in your cabin, but if not, you can always grab your supplies from the storage shack. I'm actually gonna see. How do I fill this up? Do I just like. Okay, I think that's good. <laughs> Grab some wood. Alright. Um, I think we can just pour that on there, right? I'm assuming. Okay. Cool. Oh, shit. Ah, I see it. Nice to see Tower 11 alive again. Did you report for the night yet? Okay. So we need to do what? The temperature, I think? Did you report for the night yet? You better get to it then. Here at Iron Bark, you are required to report every night before signing off. You don't Got want it. to disappoint Mitch on your I don't want to disappoint Mitch. Okay. Uh, so you do temperature, wind speed. Okay. So reported by Jack. 90? No, zero. I would say it's pretty windy out. Alright. I think there was a... Okay, cool. Eighteen. Eighteen knots. Eighteen knots and forty-four point nine degrees. Oh. Is it just clear? Is it? Is it not windy? I saw me, new guy. I think I'm gonna sign off for the day. Tower twelve, signing off. You have a good night, new guy. Hey, thanks, Connor. Should I just sleep now, I guess? Okay, cool. Let's, uh, let's sleep now. Nothing weird gonna happen at 326. I 
had to pee. I do not like that. On my first night, being out of my cabin gave me a strange feeling. Hmm. We see anything strange? Mm hmm. Nothing weird going on here. Right, I'm going back inside, Jesus. Can I go to sleep? Okay. Whew. Thought I was a goner. Look at this, man. Wow. That is gorgeous. Take a photo. Okay. Doesn't seem too bad. That's a nice photo taken by moi. Ooh, that, this is a nice photo too right here. Right here. The birds. Oh, we can take another one. Cool, cool, cool. Look at that already. Classic. That's one for the scrapbook, ladies and gentlemen. See you later. Oh, Jesus. I threw it off the tower. <laughs> All right, I think we can, we can close these, right? I don't want people staring at us while we're sleeping. Pack it in for the night, shall we? Do I keep this open? I'm gonna leave two of these open. Let's get the crap out of me. Okay, Connor, chill, dude. North of my position. Oh, that's it. Yeah. The smoke was white. Indicating that there is a fire. Oh, yeah, you know. Okay, cool, that's it. I need you to confirm. Do you see that smoke up north? Alright, my guy, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm doing my best. Oh, you want me to go check it out? I thought he was indicating that, like, hey, uh, I'm gonna check it out. Is it safe? Alert. Carry your bear spray. You should be fine. Okay. Stay safe out there. Don't forget to carry your bear spray in these woods, new guy. Over and out. Oh, Jesus. Send the new guy to do the dirty work. Alright, let me grab. I'm gonna keep this on so when I come back, I got something to hear. Fire's still going, which is nice. Keep the light on. Alright, let's get out of here. Caution. I'll proceed. As cautious as I can. I followed the trail that led me to the smoke. No camping. She gives the best head with satanic rituals and hangman. Oh God. Oh Jesus. Oh, look at that. She sent me the pizza bake, which is nice. Thank you. Reply back when you see this. Okay, cool. At least somebody cares about me. Somebody who's camping here. That doesn't sound like a bit. Did you guys see that? Who's there? Show yourself. Fuck this, man. I gotta put out the.
I gotta put the fire. I gotta put it out. <gasps> this is terrifying. Give me this. Don't come out. I have bear spray. I'm out. Get the fuck out of here. Oh my god. Oh my god. As I hiked back to my tower through the dark, I couldn't shake the sense that something was terribly wrong. My mind couldn't help but think what might have happened. I mean, somebody screamed in the middle of the woods. It was a man. Not a good sign. Unless the bears out here just adapted to like screaming. Like people. Could be a thing, could be a thing. I, I don't know, I don't know. Okay. I report to Connor. Cool about the campsite. Loud and clear, new guy. Are you kidding me? Oh yeah, no, I'm not kidding you, man. Son of a bitch. I know. I they know. never learn, do they? No, they don't. What are you talking about? Who are you talking about? I'm sick of these bastards. It's <sighs> unbelievable. Ah, oh, me too. Has this been happening a lot? Time this month alone. Oh my god, eh? Crazy. Anything else you notice in those woods? Scream? A scream. Must have been one of those red foxes. It's a manly scream. To, guy, but I heard from the rangers that a lot of campers have been flocking to that area lately because of the disappearance of those three kids. Kids went missing in that area? About a month ago. They were hiking with their families. They went off the trail and just vanished. No trace of them since. What does that have to do with the campers? Well, people have started spreading rumors that the area might be haunted by some entities. Oh, it's crazy, I know. You would think these rumors would scare people off. But you would think? Apparently, it's been the opposite. Ah, uh, I bet. I only wish they were true. Well, hmm. at least now you know why Mitch had to staff Tower 11 urgently. That'd be right. a service. Anyways, thanks for staying vigilant. Is he like. There's something off about his, like. I, I don't trust him. The so they can take care of this commotion first thing I don't trust him. We can't tolerate these goons anymore. No, we can't. If they find them. I'll personally make sure they never set foot in this forest again. Will Keep me updated. Over and out. Did I do my re my report or whatever? Oh, I need a uh, I need wood, firewood. Let me go do that real quick. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh! This isn't happening. This isn't happening. This isn't happening. This isn't happening. I cleanse thy door. Okay. Wait, hold on. Close this. Oh, okay. What did what did she text me? Oh. Uh, oh. So jelly that view. Oh my god. Okay. Here's the pizza bake. Uh, mom made the same castle recipe today. Nom nom hee hee. This isn't the time for joking. Okay, let me do this. 17 knots. Cool. And the temperature is 50.9 degrees. Let's check in for the night. Zero hikers assisted and reported by none other than your shri- Mist? Cloud? Cloudy. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, cool. Uh no way. Oh. Oh. oh my god, that's terrifying. I don't got time for that right now. I need to focus. You there? Hey, what? Good job. Them down and give them peace of mind. I hope so too. So you what? I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. I know it's been a tough day, but you're doing an excellent job up there. You know, thanks, man. I really appreciate Over 12, that. Signing off. Okay. 
Cool. We'll just grab it right out of the oven. No mitts. No mitts needed. Let's enjoy this in my bed. Some nice tunes. Some nice pizza bake. What else can you ask for? Seriously. What else? I was about to say, there's no way he's about to house this whole thing. Cool. Bedtime. Hopefully I don't wake up in the middle of the night. <laughs> Too soon. I was woken by some feeling that caused my eyes to lift open. Excuse me? What the f- What the fuck is that? Oh my god. Oh my god. If I open this? Okay, one, two, three. I didn't know what to make of it at the moment. What the hell? The only logical thing I can think of was to contact Connor. Can I like, should I take a picture of it? I feel like no one's gonna believe me if I just show him this. Do you have any idea what time it is? Uh, yeah, I do. Wait until morning? No! Feels like some real ritual or like seems pretty serious. Let's not get carried away, you guys. We're in the middle of nowhere. Alright, here's what we'll do. The perfect we'll setting for something weird. For now, just lock your door, take a deep breath, and try to get some rest. We can't do much in the dark. It'll be morning before you know it. Hmm. Get... There was no help. I'm gonna sleep. Fuck that. Night three. Next day I woke up not being so sure if last night was real or just a dream. Connor tried to reason it was harmless prank by some kids. And there's something about that night that just felt darker. There was something strange happening in this I occupied most of my days either with a simple maintenance. With a simple maintenance? What? Or scanning the densities of the trees all around me. Oh, shit. So, somebody just shot a flare. Whatever that means. That means there's a camper lost? Okay. Let me close these. What is Connor doing? I'm telling you, man, something seems off about that guy. Hello? Is anyone there? Oh, I need help. Please, someone answer. Hello? Can anyone hear me? Oh, this is Jackie Tower 11. <laughs> Thank goodness. Uh, I'm lost, and I'm I'm really starting to freak out. What's I, going on? I don't even know where to start. I, I went out to explore the area and lost track of time, and, and now it's dark, and I can't remember the trail back to my truck. I think... I think I'm lost. Okay, can you describe your clothing? I'm wearing a red jacket, camo pants, and a green backpack. Okay, red jacket, camo pants, green backpack. Uh, what is your current location? Uh, I'm in the middle of the woods, on this trail surrounded by trees. Everything looks different at night. I thought shooting a few flare gunshots might get someone's attention, but Jesus. no one's come yet. All it did was light up the hey. trees and make everything look even scarier. Uh, I just want to find a way out of here. Do you remember any landmarks? I, I, I remember passing a small stream earlier. I'm walking okay. towards west right now because I remember walking east when I came here. Okay. Oh, thank goodness. I see it. I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if a I trail by a the small right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Okay, he's by a, a small trail or a small creek. He said west. Okay, so he's he's if I'm right here, he's right here. So he needs to take the left. Uh, hello? 
Jesus. Uh, are, are both of these trails seem... Uh, I'm at a trail intersection. Uh, I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get... Ha! <laughs> I knew it! I thought it looked familiar. Oh my god. I couldn't have trusted myself with this decision. <laughs> Thanks for helping me through this. I'm right here! Oh. I hear you! I hear your whistles. What? what? I see you behind the trees to my right. Oh you're my freaking God. me out. What? We're just gonna go for it. We're gonna go for it. Ah! Oh, Jesus. It's fucking this guy. Uh, I've been knocking for uh, you've been knocking for hours. What am I up to? Uh, just you know, assisting a lost hiker. May the Lord be merciful. Anyways, get your tower supplies here, just the usual essentials. Thanks, man. You know I appreciate it. What were you doing there last night? What do you mean? Why were you there? How did he know I was up there? Oh lord have mercy. Nesting business up there, pal. Up oh, cats and bears. Dude, something's going on and I don't like it and I don't appreciate it. Not to mention you'd be uh, quite a distance from help if anything happened. So it's a busy job. I've been hearing, uh, okay, okay. Uh, I'm just getting used to the new environment. That's the spirit. Did you notice anything unusual on your hike up? Skull. Oh lord have mercy. Did you take a photo of it? Dude, I fucking said that. I didn't think about it. Of course you didn't. Okay, cool. Thanks for the supplies, you fucking jackass. Dude. I don't like this. I don't like it. Really don't like it. 27. We go with 27 tonight. And 54.1. Is it clear? Windy? Okay, cool. Right, it's only 9 o'clock, so. Need to go get wood. I'm just gonna grab the wood and get out of here. <laughs> What the fuck, man? What the f what? 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 Just gave me a heart attack. I understand loneliness can make the mind play tricks on you. Uh, what are you doing here? I'm a worker. I was just doing some routine maintenance on the radio tower over there. Thought I'd say hi to the new guy everyone's been talking about. What, what, what is this? Huh? You know about me too? You usually work this late. Every Sunday. Just trying to keep the communication lines open. Nice. That the right message reach the right places. Wouldn't you agree? Absolutely. But some fires are meant to burn and no amount of prevention can stop them. Nature has its own plan. Some things can't be controlled no matter how hard we try. What is wrong with you? And sometimes... Disasters are just another form of cleansing. A way for land to purify itself. Good night, Jack. Hope you sleep well, but remember... Curiosity can lead to places you'd rather not go. Man! Get out of my face. You stupid... The guy... The guy gave out the creepiest vibes. And he's just going in the woods! There's a trail. Where are you going? Oh, I hate that. Okay, let me let me just let me just focus on what I need to do right now, and that's tend to the spire. Okay, let me. Uh... I see the smoke coming out of your tower. Don't tell me you're not in there. New guy, you there? What do you mean? What do you mean I'm here? You copy now. <sighs> Finally. I've been trying to reach you for a while now. Where have you been? Ran into Silas. Ran into who? <sighs> Is this about yesterday? 
What do you mean? I just talked to. If what you're saying is true, it could be another one of those goons playing pranks on you. He knew my name. You think he's been listening? I don't know. Um, possibly? Either way, disguising as a staff member is strictly forbidden according to park guidelines. <laughs> Next time you see him, get his information or take a photo. We need to figure this out. Anyways, I'm seeing that you've already reported. I'm gonna hit the sack now. Okay, good night. Um, enough. Sleep. Don't wake up in the middle of the night. Just... My unease was starting to grow with each passing day. So when I signed off that night, I told myself that it was just a change of environment that I needed getting used to. Strangest I had seen so far in the wo those woods was not enough to cause any alarm yet. However, that would soon change. Two nights later. 9.18 p.m. Oh, you Jesus. I'm listening. Well, good news. Just heard from the HQ. They say we've got a new system update on the computer. They just wanted me to let you know. They say it's an important security update. No more snoopers, I guess. Update the computer. Console? Please enter the update package code. Invalid package code. What the fuck does that mean? I'm going to type help. Install system update with package code. Check. Update. Um, okay. Package code is, let's see. So let's do update. Package code is 434-6084. Please enter the active line. Uh, 1045. Line not available. 5987? 5487. There we go. Cool. Flashlight. What the fuck just happened, dude? Oh, my generator. I think it needs gas. Okay, let's fill this up. What the fuck? Back in the top. I really had to pee? Oh, dude, just pee off the ledge. You're killing me. Door is open. I thought, some I thought somebody opened the door. I'm terrified. I thought somebody opened the door. I didn't know it was see-through. Oh my god. <sighs> One week later, time was flying by. Connor's generator was under maintenance, which meant I had to cover his area for the past two days. When there were no fires going, the only thing I'd do is check in on Connor twice a day. It might have been the only time I ever talked. So I was talking to myself. Oh, oh, oh. 2.34 a.m. Oh, Jesus Christmas. Jack, you copy. Okay, tell you what. I don't have the energy to do this right now. I've been here busting my ass, working on that old piece of garbage generator. And now I'm seeing this. I'm seeing more smoke to my west. Looks like we got another camper. It appears to be in your sector. You see the campsite from your end? I'll take a look. Oh, jeez. Please. Don't put us asleep. Don't put us asleep. 
Update me tomorrow morning. Uh, I'm gonna get some rest. I'm fucking dead! Huh? You ever think about that, Connor? Excuse me? Oh my god, he just turned off his light. Ooh. Are they burning? A body? The only thing that made sense that was to take evidence of it. Space to take photo. Where are they going? Where are they going? What the fuck is that? Stay away! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, hide, I guess. Oh my god. No! Oh my god! I need to crab walk. I'm crab walking! Alright, let's try this again. What? Shift the sprint, dude. I'm sprinting. I have to hide in the porta potty. What? No! Full fucking speed ahead, man. Oh my god.
out of here. Oh my god. What the fuck? As adrenaline kicked in, I hit the gas and drove to the nearest ranger cabin. Out of breath, I radioed into alert the HQ. Look, Jack, we all get a little stir crazy out here, Mitch answered. Next morning, authorities allegedly ran a small investigation of the area, but of course they met with no signs of misconduct. No one ever believed my story, dismissing it as a product of isolation. Just stick to looking out for fires, Mitch offered. However, that was the last time I ever set my foot in those woods. The unease still sits heavy in my stomach. Even though many years have passed, the experience still fe feels vivid in my memory. My family thought I was making this whole thing up, which is really out of my character, but I know what I saw. Real or not, after dark, these woods can become a haven for illegal activities. So if any of you plan on going camping soon, please be safe. That's terrifying. Wow. Ten out of ten. My God. A little anticlimactic. Good though. Oh. My fucking adrenaline, man. Well, I hope you guys enjoy that. That was another horror game. Terrified. Terrified. If you're going camping, please be safe. Anyway, I catch you on the next one. Peace.